and welcome back to Bloomla Home and Garden. Today we are out here in the chicken run and we are going to discuss how to keep chickens cool when it's hot outside. You know, in the winter time, they are able to fluff their feathers and use that down and get themselves warm. But in the summer, not so much. Chickens are usually pretty heat tolerant to about 80 degrees. And in the north, we choose our chickens to be cold hardy. So those cold hardy breeds are not as heat tolerant and they need a little extra help when the temperature rises above 90. Here in Michigan, we have been above 90 for a few days and it can totally stress out your chickens. They cannot sweat like we do and so they need some extra help from you to get through a heat wave. Today, I wanna to share with you some awesome tips on how to keep them cool. Okay, let's start with the inside of the coop. Let's start with windows. Windows are important for airflow and especially at night if those windows are open, it lets the cool air in. Directly across, we have some cross ventilation and this goes right across their roosting bars so they can stay cool, especially at night. That's the majority of the time that ours are in there. We also have hardware cloth on both the outside of those windows to help prevent predators from getting in. If you have electricity, do run a fan. It will help circulate the air even more and bring down the temperature. For their water, I use a pail because I have ducks and they totally trash a traditional chicken water. But you can freeze these water bottles and put them in there and it keeps the water cool all day. You can totally reuse these, take them out, wash them, refreeze them, and it gives you cold water every day. Clean cold water is essential for them to lower their body temperature and they will just love to have that cold water available at all times and we keep a pool for the ducks because they need to cool off as well ducks even like being in water in the winter time so they don't mind that the water is cold so to keep the water cooler i take a gallon jug and i freeze that also and then i just float it in there and the ducks will push it out of their way if they want to move it out of their way and they want to get in there. But the chickens also drink out of this container, so I like to keep it cool for everybody. The next tip I have for you is to hose down a section of your run or your yard. You don't have to soak the whole thing and make it super muddy, but just the cool water coming out of the hose is gonna cool that ground down. And when they walk across that, water they will get cooled down and they're pretty smart it does not take them very long to figure out that there's a cool spot they will go there and they will certainly cool themselves off doing that now shade is super important and we are blessed with a lot of shade but i also use the sun sail shade and it's from amazon i'll link it down below it not only provides shade, but protection from aerial predators. And it's great. It also lets the rain come through, so that will help cool the ground. Dust bathing is super important for chickens for many reasons. It helps clean them and opens their pores so they can get fresh air around their body. And it also uh, keeps them cool. You know, the ground is very cool and they dig down in the ground, they find a cool spot, and they're pretty happy just to sit in that cool spot. And it is a great way for them to conserve energy and be cool. But dust bathing is pretty important because it helps uh, prevent mites and scales and all those things that get on your chicken um, and cause parasite problems. So dust bathing is important for them and keeping them cool also. The next tip I have for you involves sweet treats. Now, I like to give them lots of cold treats in the hot weather. Now, corn is not a good treat to give your chickens in the summertime. It raises their body temperature, but this is what I use. I've made this trough. I'm gonna show you how I did it. These long pieces are just deck boards. They're old deck boards that I had laying around. And I cut them to my length. I cut them longer because I have a lot of chickens. You can cut them to whatever length you want. Now the end pieces, again, are just pieces of that deck board. And they are about eight inches long. And they are just screwed together on the ends. I just have the screws right here on each side. 
I keep the top flush and then the bottom creates a leg so that whatever falls through doesn't get stuck in there and it falls through onto the ground, especially if it's juicy and watery, it just drains out the bottom and it's really nice. Now, what I'm trying to show you is in here, we have a couple pieces of little wood right at each end and that helps support the hardware cloth. And that's just what that is, hardware cloth on the bottom you can see right through it and that's what i'm saying if it gets wet and mushy it just drains through the bottom you don't have a big mess to clean up out of the bottom or out of the pan and it's just stapled with hardware staples down the sides and that creates their tree and so when i make fruit salad watermelon and muskmelon are their favorite treats and i cut it up really small because i have a lot of chickens and i want to make sure everybody gets a piece and so I fill them up and they can eat them. And then if they don't eat something, again, it drains to the bottom and it's not that terrible of a mess to clean up. So those are the tips that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming along. If you have chicken friends who have chickens out in this heat, please share this video with them. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Until then, guys, be blessed, be safe, and I will see you soon.